Working with others is everything I never wanted to do. <laughs> um, you know, because like as a selfish and self-centered drug addict, like I hated everyone. You know, I knew how to drink, I knew how to drug, but I didn't know how to be sober. And so a few months in, you're telling me to work with another alcoholic, even a few weeks in, and it's like, well, what do I have to offer this person? I don't, I don't know. It's been ingrained in me since like day one in GRC. It's just like, get outside of yourself and help someone else, even when you don't want to. And that's what I tell my clients now. I'm like, when all else fails, you know, they'll come in and they'll say, I've written the inventory, I've shared what, and you say, well, have you prayed about it? Have you shared it with another person? Have you taken the suggestions? And I've done it all, I've done it all. And I said, all right, well, continue that prayer life, but have you helped anyone? And then I'll circle back with them and say, you know, how you doing? Or, or you'll see the improvement and you'll see like the light come back on in their eyes and in their souls, really. Um, and they're like, well, I, I ran a nightly group or I ran a prayer group. Like those little things that like we take for granted, like that's what can make a difference for the next life that could we could lose. I do it now for a living, but I also do it in my own time. You know, I, I work with others. I work with new girls that are coming into meetings. I seek different meetings now. Um, and so my fellowship has grown, um, but so has my purpose, right? Like my purpose to give this back freely as it was, as it was given to me and to work with another struggling drug addict or alcoholic, like that's really all I know how to do well.